I get a lot of reaction to my new hair. And I'll put it into two categories. The people that know me and know about the procedure all comment about my hair. And it's changed dramatically how people see me and how they interact with me. And then the people that don't know that I've had the procedure end up asking me other questions like, have you lost weight? Did you change your wardrobe? You look younger, what, what's changed? They don't always necessarily immediately figure out the hair, but they know something's different and they know I look fantastic. And that's been so gratifying and something that I really didn't necessarily expect coming out of this process. The day of my procedure, I was a little bit nervous because it, it is a, it's a procedure. Uh, I felt confident that there wouldn't be a, a lot of pain involved because I talked to other people that had, had it done, including Mark Rosen, and I was comfortable that there wouldn't be a lot of pain. And when I got there, though, it turned out to be a lot simpler than I expected and totally pain-free. The procedure itself, for me, and everybody's different, lasted about 90 minutes. I watched a movie for most of the procedure. Uh, I got done and my recovery timetable was, was super fast. And so for me, the full day of the procedure, while I walked in maybe feeling a little bit apprehensive, I walked out feeling really good about the procedure and heck, it, less discomfort than I typically get at the dentist. I've spoken to a lot of people that are thinking about addressing their hair loss issue with Hair Restoration Institute. And the advice that I've, I've generally given them is this. One, I thought about it for a year before I actually took action and visited with Vern Cole at Hair Restoration Institute. And it was a lost year. And my hairline didn't get any better in that year. And I really could have done this a lot earlier and gotten to the results that I've got right now that much sooner. But I understand the hesitation. There's a lot of unknowns. This isn't something that people normally, you know, that people normally do every day. You don't always know people that have done this. And so it just took a little while for me to really get comfortable with it and the fact that I could get really good results. Had I known I was going to get this kind of result, boy, I would have done it a lot sooner. And there's a process that's involved. You need to do the procedure. There's a recovery timetable. And then your hair needs to grow back in. So it doesn't, you don't walk out the door the next day and suddenly you've got your full head of hair. But three months later, six months later, nine months later, you've got a totally new hair situation than you had before. And it's so much better. And it's such a dramatic improvement. It opens up so many new opportunities from hairstyling to haircuts, and just the overall confidence that you get and just the look that you want, the person that you want to wake up in the morning and see in the mirror. Those are all the things that change and things that in some cases money can't buy. I dialed back the clock a decade with my procedure and I, I just wish I had done it sooner. I started to see results from my transplant initially at about the three month mark where all of my new hair was starting to grow back in. And so I, I was getting some, some really tangible new hairline that was coming in. By about six months, it had grown into the point that my new hair was about as long as my existing hair had, had been. And by the time we got to nine months, it was all it, it was all the same. And it looks like it does now, where everything matches and it's it's all filled in and it looks fantastic. So I, I think you sort of get it in gradual stages and you don't walk out the door with new hair right after the procedure. It takes time, you're growing new hair, but it's permanent, it's for the rest of your life and it's maintenance free. So who cares about three months, six months, this is the rest of your life.